Problem 25, wastewater collection book, sewergeek.com. The power factor of a motor is 0.82, and the pump has an efficiency of 79%. If the motor consumes 1,200 watts, what is the horsepower? Well, first thing we'll do is just to make things easy, we'll just do a quick sketch. There's my motor. It doesn't have to be pretty. There's my pump. even throw an output on it just for fun. The shaft is here. So I've got wire horsepower or input horsepower and then water horsepower or output. So the watt input is 12,000 watts. The motor is has a power factor of 0.82, which basically means for every watt horsepower unit of power you put in, you get 82% out. The motor has an efficiency of 79%, so you'll basically lose 21% of whatever you put into the motor. So I've got 12,000 watts going in. We'll convert it to horsepower because that's our units. So 12,000 watts divided by 746 kilowatt per horsepower. Oops, 746 watts per horsepower. The watts cancel out and you end up with horsepower. 12,000 divided by 746. We'll punch that on here just to make sure we get it accurate. And that's going to give me 16.08 horsepower going in. That's what goes in. Then I'm going to lose 0.82 or 82 percent. So I'm going to go times 0.82 and that's going to give me 13.19 horsepower that's what's going to come out of the shaft after I lose 0.82 or 82 percent I'm going to have 13.19 left over that's brake horsepower or shaft horsepower Then I'm going to lose some more going into the pump. So the efficiency is 79%. So I'm going to go times, oops, times 0.79 for 79%. And that means I'm going to have 10.42 horsepower coming out. And so that is the water horsepower. And I wrote the question wrong, what is the water horsepower? So that's going to be the answer is D. But you need to pay attention because 13.19 is usually going to be here. 16.08 will usually be here. I didn't throw it in here on this particular example, but on a state test, those answers will be there, so you'll grab one of them.